Oh, well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Online. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I just got back from CES, and we got some good news. It looks like the um, Poison Poppy Moonshine Recipe uh, Dynamic Event Spawn Timer has been fixed, and this means we can finally find this elusive final Moonshiner recipe. Now, I do hope you all enjoy this particular episode. We're going to go over exactly how to get this particular recipe, and uh, we can all get Duncan Frunk. We've been searching for this thing for weeks, and it's about time we finally freaking got it. Um, so for those of you that don't know, we have had a map that shows all of these spawn locations for the Poison Poppy Moonshine recipe, and we're going to go ahead and show all of those locations on the map right now. Uh, so we've got one here right next to Moonstone Pond. You can drop, uh, drop a marker right there. I'm actually headed to that one right now. We've got another one just above the D in Cumberland Forest. One right next to the E. And then one right here just above the Heartland Oil Fields. Now if we go down south, we've also got quite a few spawns down in Lemoyne. Uh, so we've got one right here above Blue Water Marsh. We've got another one above the E. And then another one just like in between all of this. And then what's really nice is there's one right next to your moonshine camp down here as well. And then we've got one uh, just northwest of Rhodes. Another one all the way south near, um, I believe this is Black Bell. I haven't actually gone in there, but I'm pretty sure that's Black Bell. And then we've got a couple more spawns. We've got one just outside of Valentine right here near Caliban Seats. And then the last one is all the way in the Big Valley. Uh, so feel free to put all of those markers down and you'll be able to get this to spawn. Now, if you haven't done any moonshine stuff in the past couple days, um, then there's a small chance you could still be on the one month cooldown timer. Uh, so before you start searching for this, I do recommend that you go do like a cell mission or something like that with the moonshiner, which should reset your timer for this and then will allow you to actually be able to spawn this particular camp. Now I haven't actually done that. I'm queuing up some moonshine to sell right now. I'm going to see if we can get it to spawn without having done that, but I don't think we're going to be able to because I have not done any moonshine stuff. Um, since before this was patched, so I'm pretty sure I'm still on that one month timer, which absolutely sucks. I was hoping that Rockstar would reset it, but they probably didn't. Now, we've also got new bootlegger free roam missions and stuff like that, too, which is pretty cool. And I don't know if these reset the timer. So if you accidentally run into like a bootlegger mission in free roam, I have no idea if completing that puts you onto another 30 minute timer. Now, this used to be on a was supposed to be a one hour timer, but we are in fact on a 30 minute timer now. Uh, but I would recommend if you haven't done anything yet, do the bootlegger cell mission and then go ahead and start hunting for your poison poppy moonshine. And just to reiterate, because I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but anytime you do any Moonshiner activity, I don't know if this is to include uh, the free roam uh, bootlegger missions, like, because you can basically encounter the bootlegger missions in free roam now without having to queue them up with Maggie. And uh, I'd have no idea if that puts the 30 minute timer on it again. I would assume so because it does classify it as a bootlegger mission. Um, so maybe avoid them. I, I don't know. We're going to find out during this video if that is the case or not. Uh, but literally anytime you do anything else with Maggie, it's going to put that 30 minute timer on this particular Poison Poppy dynamic event. Sweet baby Jesus, do my eyes deceive me or is that a smoke signal coming from the Poison Poppy spawn location? And it is. Oh my goodness, we have finally found it. The Poison Poppy Moonshine Camp. Hey, you can't be here. Why not? What you doing? I heard you got something that I want. I've only been searching forever! You wanna go, bro? All right, who's got the poison poppy recipe? It gives it up or it gets the hosing. Oh, there's a chest right there. It's most likely in the big chest. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And yep, there it is. Poison poppy moonshine recipe. Apparently in a box. Can we read it? Open up our handy dandy satchel. And there we go. So, Poison Poppy's Moonshine. While traveling through Europe, I was introduced to a peculiar green spirit called Absinthe by an equi equally peculiar artist fellow. Mixed with some forage herbs, I, it makes for an interesting evening. Despite its name, the concoction is not venomous. 
Do need Oleander Sage, Prairie Poppy, and Unfortunate Absinthe. So this is another collector's item uh, concoction here. But on the positive note, this is almost always being requested. And this now gives us a few options to always be able to make a collector's item concoction. And uh, being able to always make the maximum amount of money. Although since you are using a collector's item... It really doesn't boost the income that much over, like, the $227 one. But anyways, uh, besides the point. So we got Oleander Sage, Prairie Poppy, and can be extracted into a tincture and combined absinthe and moonshine. Enjoy in moderation. I should have read the distiller's tip down there, but we finally freaking got it. So you know what this means? We need to go drink it now. So I did get this one at... Literally, I had that marker placed, like, right where it is. Uh, so this one was just outside of Rhodes, but these are all the different locations i showed them on the map earlier so just make sure you reset your timer if you haven't already so i can confirm now after doing this for a few hours that um there was no way to do it and i am in a full lobby too so you do not need to be in a solo lobby i actually was trying to do this in a solo lobby and for some reason i could not get it to spawn um but i also made sure to reset my moonshining thing so i did a full sell so i did a, i sold some moonshine and then about i'd say 45 minutes later i found it so not too bad all right let's see what uh mr baguette has to say about our poison poppy moonshine uh, other than French things. Uh, strong mash, $50. What a waste. And now, do we have everything for the Poison Poppy Moonshine recipe? We do. We have one absinthe. Oh, man. But the nice thing is that it's, like, always being requested. But so far, I've pretty much always seen the other top-tier ones being requested as well. So I guess it just will help if you're going around collecting things to... You know, have the choice between multiple different things. But I am curious if you put this, if more people show up in your bar. We still get 300 XP for flavoring it with that, which is the same amount as before. Um, I think most of the, like, secret stuff about this and why everybody was so excited about it was because it seemed like it was so impossible to get. But then at the end of the day, we just found out that uh, Rockstar had put it in broken. And it should have been something that you could have gotten very quickly in the game. And I think the main benefit to it is that you can have a high-priced moonshine uh, flavor early in the game because you should be able to get this at a low level while you couldn't get a tier 3 moonshine recipe until you had gotten to level, what, 15? Um, so the benefit of this moonshine is not that it's better than all the rest, but that you can get it earlier than the best moonshine that you can get in the game and that's why it should be sought after so if you're just starting the moonshiner then i highly recommend seeking this out if you're already at level 20 it's not going to give you a boost or anything um but it'll definitely help it out when you're like level between level 1 and 15 so i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below it would have been much better had it not been broken for almost an entire month um, but <laughs> a month. It took a month for them to fix something that was broken because of a timer. Something that... I'm, I'm not going to say any more about it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.